All right, what's going on guys? It's Noah here with Custom RC Mods, back with another video. Today, we're back out at the park. It's a beautiful day, a little windy, um, but it's gonna be a great day for flying. I've got a lot of planes back at the car, but I have the Mini Scout here first, and I'm gonna show you guys why I love this plane so much. I've been flying it a little bit since the original Maiden. We switched out the prop. You can see I've got a Gem Fan 5152 Race Squad prop on there. This thing is silent. It is nice and smooth. There's not a crazy amount of power. However, it does pick up speed, has more than enough, pretty much full vertical, um, but it's just such a great little flyer, and I hope this video shows you that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get in the flight. All right, so we got the Mini Scout here. Still three channel, elevator, rudder. Rate, rates are cranked pretty high, um, but you can see there's not a lot of sound coming from this, um, but it still has ample thrust. But look at that. It's just, it's really smooth altogether. And I hope I can get a downwind pass right by the camera here because you can barely even hear this thing at all, and it just... It's really smooth, even though it's probably like five mile per hour constant, 10 mile per hour gusting wind here. Um, it's just, it's really smooth and relaxing to fly um, overall. So I'm really happy for that. You can see three channel control, but it does have nice coordinated turns with that dihedral. Um, so I definitely think it's a great um, plane if you guys either don't have servos um, to make it like four channel or modify it just like that, either that or um, you just don't want to make it four channel or don't want to have a four channel plane. I just want to keep it simple because obviously this does give you the rudder and uh, uh, the bank control like ailerons would. I hope that makes sense because you can see it drops the wing as soon as you give it just straight rudder and then you kind of have to yank out of it. So it flies a lot like a bacon yank even though it's just a simple three channel. But you can see, I mean, there's still plenty of power to it and I'm only going half throttle. I haven't even taken it up to full throttle yet. It's just so quiet. It cruises really nicely. You can see it's right by just like that. Um, this is a lot faster than my bigger uh, Simple Scout flies, obviously. Um, usually when we get smaller, it tends to get a little bit faster. But you can see, I mean, it's just so smooth. I mean, it's not crazy in terms of its uh, maneuverability. Like in the long run, there's no, obviously, like rolls of any kind. But just cruising around, it's such a blast. It just feels so smooth. You can just do these long straight lines and nice, beautiful bank turns just like that. I mean... With the high rates, it does snap pretty well into a turn, and the turning radius is really respectable. But you can see, also got loops, um, of course, and I've got a good amount of uh, down elevator as well. You can see you can go pretty much straight down there. So it's nice. It's really forgiving, especially if you're getting into high rate planes and uh, very sensitive flying. I would give it a like maybe 10 or 20 percent expo. Um, never hurt anybody. Um, but overall, I think it's a good good option if you guys. Um, are looking into you know getting into RC planes and getting into like more uh, controlled stick maneuvers things like that so I would definitely recommend you can see it's just nice and smooth cruising upwind doesn't have a problem with penetration um, just you know nice big wing overs has a nice amount of speed and I'm not even maxing out the sticks at all but I mean, it's just, it's just really controllable and predictable, which is super nice. Pretty much straight vertical. I don't think you could sustain it as you get higher, but there's, eh, it's just about full vertical. Ugh. Again, I'm just cruising around a half throttle here, going up and down wind, and wind is definitely 10 miles per hour right now. You might be able to hear it, um, but, yeah. It's really, really respectable flight characteristics from this plane. I'm happy with the overall performance at this point, so. Obviously, it does like to perform well at speed. As soon as you slow it down, your rudder is going to become a little bit less usable and less smooth overall, so keep that in mind as you're flying. Just like to keep the nose down, um, keep going with it. It flies a lot like you know, gliders do, it can get into some pretty uh, interesting oscillating stalls as you try to um, slow it down. You can see I'm kind of holding it full up. It's actually not too, too, doing too bad, it just has small oscillations. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind um, if you're flying. You can see the only tight like maneuver you could do is just a little bit of wing over um, type things. But other than that, I mean, it's just pretty much straight through channel flying. Just flies super simple and really easy going. It's nice and relaxing. I'm just sitting here, don't have to move around, don't have to move my head that much. 
Don't have to worry about if I'm gonna lose control in the next turn. I can get really comfortable with this thing just watching it zoom by me. And of course, the, the, the throttle output is just so consistent and so smooth uh, with the 5152 race squad props um, on there. It's just important. Um, I think for this plane, at least, being such a small plane, as soon as you get up into like the six inch props and things like that, it really gets a lot of vibrations and it affects your uh, stability of your flight to have such a big uh, torquey prop on there. Um, so that's one thing that I like about this system is that it's really, it's really smooth. So yeah, um, my timer's going down. That's about five minutes worth of flight. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and bring it in for a landing. I'm running an 850 milliamp hour two cell on here. Um, so I think we're probably good for a little bit longer, but just play it safe at the end of this. Um, obviously it's, it's important not to drain your packs down. And that was a pretty terrible landing. You can see, that's what I'm talking about with the slow speed flight. Um, it just kind of tip stalls out on you, but it's not a big deal because that was pretty low, a low level altitude. Um, nothing much um, other than a few little grass blades on the wing here. But other than that, it's good condition. Flew really well today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, show your support. Um, and I'm gonna be making some more videos with this here in the near future. Probably put FPV on it because it's just, it's such a good platform for that. It's nice and stable and predictable. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.